video's shout out goes to boop 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 for commenting yellow sweater on my second to last most recent post. Hey guys, welcome back to Brookie Tomato, and today I'm going to show y'all how to make these four super cute and aesthetic DIYs. So, um, yeah, not much more explaining is needed, so let's just hop into the video. First, cut out all your images from your paper. They can be printed or drawn. You can leave a bit of white on the edge like me or cut right up to the edge of your image. You can cut them out in squares, really however you want. All right, all dunsies. Second, let's lay out a large portion of our wax or parchment paper. Well, okay, so here you see me laying down strips of my clear packaging tape right onto my wax paper, but you do not need to do this. It really does nothing to help whatsoever, and it's basically a waste of your precious, lovely, beautiful time. So just don't do this. It's a total waste. Just no. Assuming you did not do the previous step that I strictly told you to not do, let's move on. Roll out a longish strip of your clear packaging tape and flip it upwards so that the sticky part is facing up. Then place all your paper cutouts on top of the tape, making sure that they are facing downwards along, um, all along the entire tape strip. Then just flip your tape piece over and stick it onto your wax or parchment paper. And yes, we're still just ignoring the fact that my idiot self put tape down first. <laughs> Now cut out each image sandwiched between your tape and wax paper, leaving a border around each image like so. You need this border so that your stickers will ultimately stick. Once you have done this, they are technically ready for use, but I'm going to pre-peel all of my stickers and then put them on one big piece of my wax paper for easy access. Peeling the stickers can be kind of tricky, but I found a method that works really well. So basically, I'm putting the sticker in between my middle finger and my thumb, and then just applying pressure while sliding my fingers against each other, and this will slide the back off nice and easily. Let's watch again. One more time. Okay. So we're starting out with our Starbucks cup, which I got by just asking for a water at Starbucks. They also have these new cups that have a new type of lid, which I thought was really cute, so um, yee. So since I can't remove the ink from this cup, as I have tried and failed, I'm just going to start by painting over the Starbucks logo with some white paint. I also went around and painted little sparkles all around the cup and on the lid. Here's one coat of paint, and then the second coat. Once that's nice and opaque, I use a pencil to lightly draw the outline of my image I'm going to paint. I did cherries, but you can do anything you want. So I went in with some black paint and just outlined the cherries. Now is where we need to seal in all our hard work. If you have waterproof sealant, go ahead and just mask over every part of exposed paint you have. If you do not have waterproof sealant, I'm using nail polish, a nail polish top coat and this works just as good and it's waterproof. So yeah, all you have to do now is just let it dry and then pow, you're done. To make a super simple container for a lip balm, cut off the top part of your water bottle like this. You can also use an X-Acto knife or scissors. Cut another piece of your water bottle and then apply a generous amount of hot glue onto the bottom edge of your cap and top part. Finally, go ahead and just place it into your other piece, um, place it onto your other piece of plastic and hold it in place until it dries. And this is how it'll function. Now grab your microwave safe container, plop in some coconut oil, by the way, I did not need as much coconut oil, then I put in a small piece of my crayon, how much crayon you add will determine how colored your balm will be, then I shook in a little bit of my eyeshadow just to add some iridescence, and then I plopped this into the microwave for one minute, but then later I needed more, so in total I would say microwave your mixture for about one minute and 45 seconds to two minutes. 
All right, guys, listen up, listen up. From here, you wanna pour in your melted mixture into your lip balm container we just made. But, but listen, do not pour it in when it's right out of the microwave. I did this and the hot mixture just completely melted the hot glue and came pouring out of the bottom of my container and went everywhere. So what I recommend doing is letting your mixture sit for about five to 10 minutes, which will help cool it down and it will still remain liquid, don't worry. And then after it's cooled, go ahead and pour it into your container. Here's my remade mixture that has been cooled down, by the way. Anyways, go ahead and pop this into your freezer for like 20 minutes and then it's like magic your bomb will be made For the scrunchie, cut a rectangle out of your mesh fabric that is around 20 inches by 5 to 6 inches. As for the piece you see on screen, it's not the right size, later I found that out. So then anyways, take your mesh and fold it directly in half, then sew a straight stitch all along the long edge of your mesh, closing it into a tube. I recommend using a fairly small stitch setting just to ensure durability and then finally turning the tube we created inside out. But really, it's the right way out. <laughs> Now wrap your elastic around your wrist, keeping in mind to add about 3 inches more so that you can easily tie it into a knot later. Then grab your fake flowers and just pull the flowers off the stems. If they don't pull off, just cut them. Here I'm cutting the extra little nub sticking out here, and a mistake I made was not taking off this green part. So if your flower has this, just go ahead and pop it off. It may not seem like a big deal now, but it will just help later. Just help, and then apply a little hot glue on the bottom so that the flower doesn't fall apart. First I made 4 flowers, but then I found 5. It was good. Oh boy, didn't make a lot of mistakes in my first try. Okay, so here I glue my flowers to the elastic. Honestly, this ain't the best idea, so just skip this part. Oh, look, our real smart old self just realized that the piece was too small, so I made it into a separate scrunchie. Um, all right, we are back with our new and improved piece of fabric that is the right size that I told you in the beginning. So, just pretending that we did not glue on the flowers onto our elastic, just guide your elastic inside of your mesh tube, grab both ends of the elastic inside your tube, and then pull them like so, and then just tie a knot, and ba-doom, ba-bing, this is how it should look, and yee. Alright y'all, so now the final step, we just need to close up the scrunchie, so it's a bit hard to show with the mesh, so I'm just going to use this piece of paper as an example. So this is the tube of our scrunchie, it's rounded though, and yes, so what I'm going to do is fold it, is fold each side of our tube in like this. Got it? Okay, good. Then, of course, this will be a lot easier with the fabric, but you want to put one of the ends inside of the other end, like so. And lastly, just sew straight across right here. Don't worry about going through the other side because it's going to be a lot different with the actual fabric. But yes, just do that and then, well, you're done. <laughs> Alright guys, this is basically it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm not trying to brag, and really I'm not, but I'm just kind of sort of proud of myself for this video's editing because I had over an hour of footage of all these four crafts, and I was like, how am I gonna break this down? But yo, seriously, I gave it my all in this video um, with four crafts. It's shorter than some of my videos that have like one craft, so yeah. Anyways, if you watched until now, please comment down below. My nail polish is chipping, and I'm sad. So um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, because I love talking to you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Enjoy the video, watch my hair, subscribe and like the video, and most of all, share the channel. I'm eating chips, by the way.